13 lives lost, 13 lives remembered, 19 years after the mass shooting at Columbine High School. At the time, it was the worst mass shooting at a high school in American history. And today, students all across America honored those victims. Most of the students who walked out of high schools today were not even maybe born or toddlers. They were so young at the time Columbine happened, yet they all know about it. That day, that word really changed from a type of flower, which Columbine is, to really a definition of what a, an act of school violence really is. And it's symbolism that the Columbine is the state flower of Colorado, mm -hmm. and, and it was a relatively new high school uh, in the 1970s, so its history was a little bit different than some of the other high schools in, in the Denver area. I'm, I'm a Denver native, mm -hmm. you work there as well. And uh, I, I can't imagine what it was like to have been there in a city, you're a University mm -hmm. of Colorado graduate, to mm -hmm. have covered such a horrific, horrific occurrence. I, I was just starting. I was a really young reporter working in Denver. And I remember we carried pagers back then, and text would come up on the pager, and it just said, shooting at Columbine, go ASAP. And we didn't know what we were going towards. No one could have ever imagined what we saw because at that time, no one could have imagined what happened. This, the, the school and shooting were not two words that were used together in tandem very often. And, and we could have never imagined seeing kids running out of the high school with their, their hands up and, and triage being done on lives so young in people's front yards in a suburb of Denver. How did it change the community around it? It, it changed the entire community. Um, I think it sensitized the community. It made them uh, go inward in the way of being protective. Even today, you won't see many images from that day broadcast in Colorado because it still is so painful just to see an image of what happened at the school. And it changed me as a person and a journalist too. And I think in some ways it changed me the most because I got to know some of the, of the victims' families and they were so inexplicably kind through every little bit of it. Kyle Velasquez was a student in the school. His parents would remember some of our birthdays. They would bring us birthday cards into the newsroom. It was just unbelievable. And they would get together, all the families, and have a barbecue together because they knew that no one else could understand what they had gone through, but they could really be there for each other. And one time they took in a baseball game. These things that happened behind the scenes, but the thing that always linked them all was saying, we cannot become cruel because something cruel happened to us. We're going to put kindness into the world. Right. And that's the only way they knew to try to keep it from happening Th again. This is one of those events that has changed America. I mean, you can you can draw a line before Columbine and after it, and you can see a sure. seminal change in the United States, not for the better. Yeah, and today, every student at Columbine High School had the day off of school to do a community service project. They felt that is the best way to honor all the victims. Mm -hmm. We'll be back.